Mohammed Budi. Well, uh, to shed more light on uh, the uh, foreign minister visit uh, to Qatar, we have the pleasure to have this phone with Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former assistant foreign minister. Good afternoon, Your Excellency. Good afternoon, you. Uh, how are you, sir? Well, uh, Your Excellency Ambassador uh, Bayoumi, uh, now how do you weigh the importance uh, of uh, the visit by uh, the Foreign Minister Samah Shukri today uh, uh, to Qatar uh, in boosting uh, relations between Egypt and Qatar? I am so happy as Egyptian citizens watching what we are doing in uh, the field of the Arab cooperation and the regional cooperation in, in France. Also, we have good cooperation with Africa, with Europe, with Latin America. And this specific visit is uh, concentrating on one rich country in, in the Arab field where they have surplus of money. They invest outside the country a lot. And the whole Arab world is investing out of the Arab world by $1,800 billion dollars. While in the Arab world, it is only 60 or 70 billion dollars, 5 percent of our total investment. So we have to change this formula. We have to knock the door. We have to make our market much more available for new investors. And the good thing that Qatar, although we, we had some problems uh, in the last few years, uh, Qatar uh, uh, continued its investment in Egypt. And you can see uh, 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 banks from Qatar uh, uh, working in Egypt. They are uh, uh, ready to increase their investment, and now this is the occasion in order to increase the investment in the Especially the, the Arab Parliament advised us to concentrate on the uh, food gap and to invest in agriculture. This uh, sort of uh, one area we, we are in much need of it. Also, in other uh, dimensions, whether it's industry, car industry, electricity, name it. So, I, I, I hope this will add also to our ability to uh, move much more investment coming from the Arab countries from anywhere in the world. Yes, uh, so Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, also the uh, uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri and his accompanying delegation uh, 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 representatives uh, uh, of Qatari uh, would, would meet with the representatives of uh, the Qatari Businessmen Association as well as Qatar Trade and Industry uh, Chamber. What is the importance of this uh, uh, meeting in boosting uh, uh, bilateral trade relations between Egypt and Qatar in the coming period? It's very important because it gives another push to the relations. We, we shall see much more activity. It gives uh, a good sign to all the investors that our relations with Qatar is uh, coming back in all expense that we are going to uh, exchange benefits, whether investment, whether a uh, can community living in Qatar and helping Qatar for its uh, development. Uh, many things are uh, appearing together for the sake of and the benefit of the two countries and the two people. Yes. I am so happy for that. I am one of the uh, Egyptians who are visiting Qatar many times, and I know how they look to Egypt with very uh, brotherly look, and uh, this is a good start to continue our uh, good cooperation in many fields. Yes, sir. This is the, the way to do it. Yes. So, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, also, how do you weigh uh, the Egyptian Qatari relations in general, uh, also after the visit by uh, President Abdel Fattah al Sisi in last September? That was uh, very important from our president to show that uh, our relations with Qatar is coming to the normal stage of friendship, of brother uh, relations, and so on. Now we have the executive. Uh, visit with the Prime Minister and his colleagues from several ministries, uh, especially industry and electricity and uh, planning, uh, where they can concentrate in, in a specific uh, project and specific areas. So I, I, I feel from all these activities that we are on the right track and we are going quite uh, quick enough in order to restore 
our uh, relations and in order to gain much more activities in the field of investment and trade. Yes, uh, also Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, the importance of uh, the uh, Foreign Minister uh, Samah Shukri visit today to uh, Qatar in uh, uh, boosting uh, investment, uh, the Qatari investment in Egypt, and what is uh, the size of investment uh, of uh, uh, Qatar in Egypt? Qatar is among the most important Arab countries investing in Egypt, mm. and they never withdraw during the, the years where we had uh, uh, cold elections. Now Qatar is going to even to ex exceed the limits and to uh, spend more in investment. And of course, Qatar will benefit from this. Egypt will benefit from this. They are benefiting as investors. Egypt will uh, benefit as uh, a recipient country of investment. More job create, creation, more uh, good to, to be produced, more uh, export to the whole world. Many things are there, and this is a really good occasion to stress that we are on the right track, that we are developing, and this is very good uh, uh, relations between Egypt, Qatar, and all the Arab uh, countries, especially in the Gulf states. Yes, uh, there are uh, a large number of Egyptians uh, uh, staying and working in uh, Qatar, of course, and Qatar is providing them all the necessary uh, and facilitations uh, for uh, uh, and providing them support and help. And the same happens for Qataris uh, living here uh, in uh, Egypt. Uh, give us an idea about this, please. Yes, and I want to assure you my personal uh background because I, 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 I was always uh, visiting Qatar several times and during the, 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 uh, the days of the uh, cold relations, uh, our ambassador in Qatar invited me with some other uh, businessmen from Qatar and some Egyptian professors at the university. I, I know that 80,000 80, Egyptians are there. And I visit, by the way, the, the El Gizira channel. And I ask the Egyptian working there how they treat you. They said, it, the, on the contrary, they treat us very well to, to uh, do that. What is happening is something which will take its time and it will vanish. And uh, what we are seeing now proves that really we, we, we restore our good relations with Qatar. And this is not change. You will see that Cairo is boosting all the Arab countries, uh, embassies, the whole world. There isn't any country in the whole world which is not represented by an embassy in Egypt. And the largest embassies of some countries like the States or Saudi Arabia or the Emirates or England or France is the largest embassy of those countries anywhere yes. in the world. So it's yes. not strange that Qatar is coming back uh, we, we, with full capacity, with full speed, and uh, I expect many good results for, for this visit and this context. Yes, uh, what is the importance of Egypt uh, to Qatar as Egypt uh, is uh, uh, always speaking, of course, Africa and, uh, and uh, Egypt is uh, uh, playing a significant role in the Middle East and uh, uh, in healing uh, uh, the rift and the any crisis uh, taking place in uh, the region? Yes, you, you, as you well know, that Egypt is the most attractive country in the Arab world and in Africa for uh, foreign direct investment. We, this is not strange because we are in number the largest market, the largest number of population. Also, uh, those who are coming to invest in Egypt we tell them that if you invest in Egypt and produce any commodity and it has Egyptian uh, certificate of origin, then you can export it, exempt it from any custom duties to Europe because we have a free trade area with Europe, to Africa, we have now a free trade area with Africa, and the whole Arab world. We are talking here about a market for Egypt, not the 100 million Egyptians, but it is 2,000 million Arabs and Africans and Europeans. This is a huge market, and I think Egypt has all the attraction needed to attract uh, investors. 
Yes, uh, so Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, uh, months ago the uh, Qatar have uh, uh, was uh, uh, hosting the uh, World uh, uh, Cup, uh, so the FIFA. So uh, uh, the coordination that took place uh, on the tourism level between Egypt and Qatar uh, during the uh, the cup uh, uh, that uh, Egypt was providing uh, facilitations and discounts for all uh, uh, the tourists uh, that are participating or uh, having tickets uh, attending uh, the cup in uh, Qatar when they uh, come to uh, Egypt. How do you see this uh, uh, coordination? This is another field of cooperation, of course. Tourism is one part of our income where we have uh, we used to have uh, plenty, uh, millions of uh, our guests coming from all over the world. And I think Qatar is not strange for that. Uh, I am used to see our colleagues from Qatar in all fields. And, of course, uh, Qataris who came to visit Egypt as tourists. We have Qatari students also. We have uh, the, uh, what I, I said about 18,000 uh, Egyptians living in Qatar, many of them are teachers. So the, the, the people-to-people -people, uh, relation is very important also, and it gives strength to this sort of relation. Yes. Uh, so uh, uh, also, uh, what are your expectations in the near future in the cooperation and investment uh, and uh, uh, economy in the Egyptian-Qatari relations? I hope the best, inshallah. Especially that uh, we hope that we are coming to the end of uh, the disease of uh, Corona. We, we are in full command of it. And I hope also that sooner or later we shall get rid of the war of Ukraine, which affected all of us yes. uh, negatively. And in some areas it affected us positively, by the way. Yes. Because now Qatar and Egypt are exporting gas to Europe much more than before. So we take the best in the coming uh, days and the coming years in Shal. Yes, sir. I thank you very much for your uh, uh, valuable thank information. You. Thank you uh, for your time, Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break and I'm going to be back with you. Egypt opens up to the world. President Abdel Fattah Sisi meets with world leaders. أعبر لكم عن خالص الشكر والتقدير على حفاوة الاستقبال وكرم الضيافة. Reaffirming Egypt's vision.